By default, Next.Thought returns minimal information in the session object. However, there are use cases where you might want to return extra information to the client. So, this video shows you how to extend the session object and return additional fields to the client. Let's start by looking at the callbacks provided by Next.Thought. The next dot callbacks enable you to control what happens when certain actions are performed in the application. These actions could be a user signing in, a user being redirected, the client accessing a session, and so on. At the time of recording this video, next dot provides four callbacks. The first callback is the sign in, which is triggered whenever a user signs in. Then we have the redirect callback which is triggered whenever Next.Thought has to redirect a user. Then we have the session callback which is triggered whenever the session is checked either via the use session, get session or session callbacks. Lastly we have the JWT token which is triggered whenever a JSON web token is created or modified. In our case we are interested in the session callback which is called whenever the client checks a session. So you can use this callback to pass extra information to the client, which is what we'll do. However, before the data is available in the session callback, you must edit it to the token in the JWT callback. Like I mentioned previously, the JWT callback is triggered whenever a JSON web token is created or updated. For example, a JWT token is created when the user signs in or updated when a session is accessed in the client. Recently, I worked on the email verification feature at Documento and I had to expose an extra field email verified to the client. The email verified field represents whether the users have verified their emails or not. The logic of adding email verified in the session object is as follows. Merge the two objects, token and user, add the email verified field to the merged object and return the new object. Since the JWT callback is called before the session callback, anything that you add to the JSON web token is available in the session callback. That means you can now send it to the client in the session object. The last step involves returning the email verified in the session object as follows. The email verified field in the code checks if the email verification date is a string and if so, it converts it to a date object. Otherwise, if the verification date is not present or is not a string, it sets it to null. Now you can check if the user has a verified email by accessing the email verified value. In our case at Documento, we want to disable the ability to upload documents if the user doesn't have a verified email. This code snippet shows the email verified being used to determine whether the user can upload documents or not. And we are done. That's all. All the code shown in this video is available in this pull request. And before closing, I want to mention that this implementation is based on Next.Auth version 4. However, they recently released version 5, so this implementation might not work with that version. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.